Good old Shemin's how uh Righty ho. So spin the arvo on spin the the morning, sorry. Get in the B16, ready to go. Um, put a lot of the parts through the mach uh, through the wash tub. Um, she's pretty cold here, so with the heater on. It snowed this morning, that was good. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting ready. Uh, I've just got to wait for some heat stuff to show up, but just going through the process. Uh, I'm going to fit the oil pump, fit the water pump, so that it's all on there, ready to go. Um, and she's head on and all that sort of stuff so she'll be a short and sweet one um, just you know putting that stuff together and that's that's about it I guess anywho I guess we'll get into that Gasket sitting in place, um, so hopefully we have the head starts tomorrow because they're ordered. Um, we're about to put a little bit of grease on the O-ring, um, but first, before we do anything, we're going to pour a whole lot of assembly lube down there and run it through the oil pump, um, just so that the oil pump doesn't start dry. So, yeah. I also check that uh, those those screws are tight. Um, yeah, just make sure everything's pre-lubed and ready to go. Nothing wrong with a bit of extra lube. Definitely sounds dry. So lube her up, and uh, we'll go from there. Sitting there, sit back there. Stay. Oi! Fucking stay. Oh. Okay. Um, so, yeah, now that's all done. Not much I can do from here, apart from maybe put the rear main seal in. Um, until then, catch us later. Yeah, right, oh. So, if we look up at the skirt, we got our rear main in there, everything's all there. Just giving the uh, head surface a bit of a clean off. Um, Marsh Motorsports did a nice bit of bloody porting and polishing and fixing up the chamber, made the exhaust ports nice and nice and big. Um, so air out will be good. Because at the end of the day, it's all about getting the air in and getting the air out. <laughs> Um, and then the intake ports have been made pretty big. I haven't honed too much out of there, so you still get your velocity the last ram on in there. Um, so, oh, beauty. Anywho, we're gonna sit the head on, um, and then that's it, because I'm waiting on the, I message Leisha. She's getting me a bolt. Um, and the head studs aren't here yet because I forgot to order them to be honest um, but that's all right so we're most of the way ticking along anyway um, we can start 
preparing the um, lost motion springs and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, and that do that. Yeah, there we go. Is it? That'll sit down there like that, and um, we can go through, sort out the last bits we need before we shoehorn it down. Um, yeah, there's actually still more I can take care of. Hmm, might carry on, huh? I guess. Yeah, g'day. So we're back, whole day later. We, uh, have our head studs, pulled the head off just so we can install them in a, a little bit nicer. Um, but yeah, so we just clean them up, thread them in the holes, sit the head on, right, lube up the threads, loop, uh, sit the head on, and then we'll go from there. Um, yeah, I got bloody a flag and a, and a warning for having the stereo on. Um, in the last couple, so that's no longer, which is a bit of a shame, because, you know, yeah, can't have some tunes in the background while we are doing this, well, on the time lapse I can, because that's not it. Anyhow, we'll get back into it, um, we'll get uh, this on, get the talk wrench out, and go from there, cheers. Yeah, right. Oh, um, that's probably a long-winded format way of getting to where we are now. Um, but we're ready to lube everything up some more, um, sit the cams in, put the cam seals on, bolt everything down. Um, so yeah, heads, heads on. I got to put that bun in there. Um, before putting the cam gears on, because that'll be a good, good we, uh, good we mistake. But um, Leash and Cal were really good. Um, they went through when they were uh, disassembling the engine um, and laid laid all the rockers and everything out as they pulled them off. So that was really good. Um, so now, yeah, loop everything up, cams in. And then we can start working towards uh, degreeing everything up once we put all the little brackets and timing belt and all that sort of stuff on. Um, it is dinner time, however, um, so I'm going to feed my dog and then we'll come back to that after this. Chores. Yeah, right, so I thought I'd do this while the barbecue preheats. Yes, I barbecue my dog's food. Do a uh, barbecue and stuff like that. 
because I'm fancy. Um, now, this is the exhaust cam. So the box says, is it printed on? Does not appear to be. Alright, so. Rock like that, beauty. Like putting on a condom in it. Fuck, shit. This is YouTube. Good God. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. Um, depending on the sense of humor, I guess. some stuff and go from there. Seek. And well, there you go. Um, everything's cool to spec. Just got to do the cams, time about, set it all up, and then get to degreeing everything. Um, we also need to set the lash and all that jazz. Um, even though you would argue that because they've been out, oh, well, you know, because it's the same head, some people would argue you don't need to. No, they wouldn't argue it, but they shouldn't argue it. Some people try. But because everything's been re reseated, the valves, it's all new valves, it's all new everything. So we've got to go through um, and adjust the lash and all of it um, just to set it up right. Because at the moment, there ain't a damn thing in there. There's nothing. Um, so we've got to go through, do all of that, back everything off, set it all up again and go from there. Um, so yeah, bit of a job, just got to do that, um, but first, yeah, I'm going to call that a night. Um, did, did some work today, so that's good. Um, and we'll get back to this tomorrow morning and we'll go from there, eh? Catch us then. Yeah, how's it going? Um, so we had to go make a spec tool, turn on a socket, a nut, and a screwdriver. Um, there's no one that has one in stock and I didn't think about it and I went, huh, last night, need to order one then. Didn't order one, made one, this is what it is now, I've got a spec tool, awesome. Um, so we're into putting covers on, um, skip that part, um, I've already backed the lash off, um, so now let's get the bolts and the keys out of the other cams, that are the, the standard cams. Put that in, get it to top dead center, climb and mark it all up, and uh, and then we can do that, get it all, all timed. Then we can start going through, set and lash, and then degree it all at the end. Um, I like to degree things last. Hey, if it's all set to top of the center, it's close. Um, but then we do those fine adjustments, get the cams bang on to where they need to be, according to the um, cam chart. 
and when we're on the dyno, move them around just a little bit and see what we can come up with. Um, so yeah, we will keep on trucking, I guess. Um, yeah, cheers. Yeah, so I've come across a slight thing because these things spin in reverse. I've now got to get it around without without pistons touch and bounce. Hey, <laughs> oof! Because this is a high comp one, so the risk is quite high. Um. Now we're going to do this, Matthew. Easy does it, I guess. Um, no, we will put something on the back of the crank here so we can turn it around. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there because that's the safest way. Because um, then I can do that and talk the crank bolt up. Once I've torqued the crank bolt up, or we can spin it whichever way we want, and then we've got to get it off, but it's, you know, it, neither here nor there, really. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do that. Sure. Right up, so lash is all set. Happy days. Um, now, get our, our mount out. Turn the magnetic base off. Turn it on, on our tower support. This I uh, made for doing Jay-Z's and RB's. Um, now, apparently it does Honda. Who would have thought? It is a simple little steel bracket. It's about that to jet. Um, now, we've got our dial gauge. This one's in millimeters. However, our chart is in thou. The other option is, oh no, we don't have arbors long enough for the, uh, the digital one, so we just have to do the conversion. So we want 40 thou of lift, um, yeah, doesn't give us cinema. Open, opens at 38, 38 degrees before top dead center. Um, 40 thou peak lift. Oh, yeah. We'll set it to there. Uh, on the intake cam, 38, degree, uh, 38 degrees uh, before top dead center. It starts, starts to open. And at 40 thou um, is open at 58 degrees before bottom dead center on the exhaust cam. Um, so we'll set the intake cam first. It involves a lot of uh, roll it over, roll it over, roll it over. Um, but that's okay. We've got uh, plenty of purchase here in these, unlike the RVs. We've got a tiny little stick point, bit of a pain in the ass, really. Um, but you get them done, um, so yeah, we'll carry on.
Yeah, right. So as you would have seen, I ducked off. I had to go and double check our torque specs for our cam gears because it doesn't come in the package. Um, but we are degreed. Um, you know, this is good. Uh, now I shall, uh, well, within, you know, within Kiwi, because um, it's going to get adjusted on the dyno, but it's a great base start point. Um, so we will now um, talk all of these up and including put a little bit of Loctite on the back of these cam gear bolts, um, lock it all up, talk everything up, and then I can go about finishing the rest of the motor. But for the most part, that was actually quite a quick um, degree. Um, a lot of the other ones I've, ta I've done, I've taken a little bit longer than that. Um, but yes, so that's basically us wrapped up on this one. I don't think you really want to watch uh, me put front covers and stuff on. Um, and you know, we're not going to put the flywheel on just yet until we're ready to go in the car. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I know she was a bit of a long one. Some silences in there because I don't know how to add sounds and stuff. Um, but yeah, cheers.